फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल आई वुड लाइक टू वेलकम यू ऑल माई डियर फ्रेंड्स इन दी क्लासेस ऑफ ह्यूमन राइट टूडे माई डियर फ्रेंड्स वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस समथिंग अबाउट द कंसेप्शन ऑफ टाइम बाउंड डिलीवरी ऑफ जस्टिस एंड ह्यूमन राइट A trial or case is being conducted for several years. What are the reasons behind the same? It is generally said that my dear friends, subject to exception, delayed justice denied justice. But in present scenario, delayed justice and denied justice, and also the cases or trials which are being conducted. For several years, as for ten years, twelve years, thirty years. So, in this regard, with a special reference to the protection, promotion, preservation of human rights in the interest of people and in the interest of welfare of the country and nation, today we are going to discuss something about the concept of time-bound delivery of justice and human rights. So, first of all, I would like to clarify before you all. what is the meaning of the conception of time bound delivery of justice so please listen carefully the conception of time bound delivery of justice reveals the delivery of justice or the disposal of the case or matter within a reasonable time or required time period or limit to be ensured or existed in the cases in interest and welfare of all and to the nation in this connection it is said that delayed justice denied justice in today's scenario it's being changed into truth because since last many years or for a long the cases or trials or inquiries are conducted or are being conducted time after time or year after years are spending or are being spent but the justice is not delivering or are not being delivered to the person concerned timely as required according to time circumstances necessities and others which is the sole and highest goal of laws as the greatest achievement in this regard honorable mr justice ranjan gogoi said two things are troubling me one is pendency of the cases and the problem has the potential of making the system itself irrelevant accused in criminal cases are getting hearing after serving their sentence and in civil disputes the parties are getting judgments after two or three generations it is serious problem my dear friends but it's not too difficult a problem and it can be resolved i have a plan will soon unfold it the delivery of justice in india which is very dilatory or the inordinate delay is in existence since last many years to so far in certain matters subjecting to the exceptions which is not in the interest and welfare of people respective and nation the conception of time bound delivery of justice is not found in most of the matters with the required specification under some exceptions namely time or period of limitation must be prescribed or made for the required matters or cases from the initial stage to the final disposal with the inclusion of review revision appeal and other related things in present time the aforesaid concept is found in certain or some matters as the investigation with regard to an offence under section 376 to 376e of indian penal code shall be completed within 2 months from the date of information on which the same was recorded by police under section 173 of the code of criminal procedure 1973 and the criminal law amendment act 2018 
the inquiry or trial shall be completed within a period of two months, which is in connection with the sections 376 to 376E. Of the Indian Penal Code 1860 from the date of producing or filing the charge sheet under section 309 of CRPC 1973 and Criminal Law Amendment 2018. In respect of the appeals from conviction against the past sentence under sections 376 to 376 E of IPC, the disposal of appeal shall be done within six months from the date of filing of the appeal. Under section 374, subsection 4, under section 377, subsection 4 of the Criminal Procedure 1973 and also Criminal Law Amendment 2018. In relation to the limitation with regard to take the cognizance in certain offences on expiry of such period of time as mentioned, here and after, no court shall take the cognizance of the offence as if offence is punishable with only fine, then the time for cognizance is six months. If the offence is punishable with not exceeding one year, then the time for cognizance is one year. And if the offence is punishable with exceeding one year to three years, then time for cognizance is three years. As per sections 468 to 473 of CRPC 1973. But in this regard, the Code of Criminal Procedure 1973 covers only three years punishments offences as above, as I have told you. But beyond three years, but beyond three years, punishments offences, the CRPC 1973 does not provide any limitation and other matter also are found in criminal, civil and other matters. In a full shared ways or manners under the required or suitable amendments must be contained in all the required matters or cases specifically in the matters at least which are directly connected with the life and personal liberty and, and all others at the earliest to say protect preserve the fundamental human or other rights for interest and welfare of all. In this respect, many years or for a long time, the inquiry or trial or case is conducted. But after on completion of the same, the person or persons are declared innocent or acquittal, which is not in accordance with the life and personal liberty of human and human rights, because the spent time can never be returned by given back to anyone by anyone. In any case or condition. Now some questions are arrived or came before us that why the time of human is spending or is being spent like this way or method. Who is liable or responsible for this? On whom the answerability or accountability be fixed for these consequences? Why is the case or trial or inquiry being conducted beyond the reasonable time as for 10 years, 20 years, 30 years, 40 years, 50 years or 60 years and others also? Whether all as aforesaid are fair, justified, lawful and good affairs, then on which grounds? And under which laws? If no, then why? On which basis and under which laws, the life, personal liberty and all other related things of many innocent persons or people were and are being interfered or destroyed or affected prejudicially, unlimitedly, unnecessarily, arbitrarily, unlawfully, unconstitutionally, with the bemiscal, conduct your behavior on the name of the system against the human rights, subjecting to all justified, relevant, required exceptions, criticism and other things for the interest and welfare of all. If someone is or has committed any kinds of offences or any other matter, whether it's criminal, civil, constitutional or other consequently such person, persons must be treated as in according to the laws, subject to human rights, as applicable. But to conduct the case or trial for a long time or many years, how far or how long 
is it relevant fear justified lawful whether all the same fulfills the purposes or ends of law and justice with regard to this some important relevant cases or matters which reveal that the conditions of human rights and enforcement system which we will discuss in next video please keep watching this this is the part 1 of the conception of time bound delivery of justice and human rights second part of the conception of time bound delivery of justice and human rights we will discuss further my dear friends so if you like this video please like it subscribe it share it and give your comments as feedback thank you so much